because both Jack and I work from home. That is something that I learned very early on in this fertility journey. I'm waiting for a phone call from my nurse. Welcome or welcome back to the stream. What's my cutie cooking up in here? And I think there's a lot of beauty and a lot of power in vulnerability. Oh, they have Christmas stuff now, Bob. Because if there was a one size fits all situation, we'd all be pregnant out here. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Since July, I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love for you. Good morning, everybody. It is Dingle here, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing super, super duper well. I was looking back at old vlogmases, and it reminded me that I used to literally just film the most mundane things about my life and like what I do throughout my day and I thought that that would be fun, hopefully. Maybe not, maybe it's the most boring thing ever, like I think my life is that boring, you know? But some of my favorite things to watch on YouTube personally are people pouring their coffee and making their bed and going throughout their day and what their lunch looks like and things like that. So I thought this could be a glimpse into what our everyday life looks like because both Jack and I work from home. Jack is a full-time employee and I am a contractor, like part-time employee, with the same company that I used to be a full-time employee at. But then if you guys saw, I think I went into this story a little bit in the get ready with me while I spew like random facts about myself type of thing. But I'm so grateful for that part-time job. It's the perfect amount of work in content creation and social media anyway for that company, but also allows me to do things like this, which just sets my soul on fire. I used to make my bed, by the way, as soon as I woke up, but I had this thought one morning, and I think it's because I used to watch this person on YouTube. Her name is evading me because she doesn't post on YouTube anymore, but she used to let her bed breathe like when they would get up in the morning instead of immediately like pulling the covers up and making the bed she would pull the covers down and just let the bed breathe for a bit before she went and made the bed and ever since i've started doing that just leaving it for like mid-morning when i come by to go to the bathroom or something the bed feels fresher and i feel like we are so cooped up and our bodies are in there and all of the heat and things that come with that that at least mentally letting the bed breathe I feel better about it. So this morning you saw my typical working from home morning, breakfast, coffee, and then depending on the day, depending on phone calls and things, I'll jump right into my work morning tasks. And my ideal day is getting these tasks and things out of the way in the morning so that the afternoon can be spent editing, Instagram, TikTok, like all of those things. And specifically on Tuesday and Thursday, which today is Tuesday, I stream on Twitter. 
Twitch in the afternoons. So getting any contract, part-time work stuff out of the way in the morning is always ideal. But the one thing that I have been trying to do and I just need to freaking make it a priority. I feel like the things that better ourselves are never the things that like we put first besides the bare minimum like eat breakfast you know what i'm saying but i used to be so good at uh, i'm waiting for a phone call from my nurse i hate waiting for phone calls from like healthcare because you never want to miss them so my phone is just following me everywhere i used to be so on top of making sure that i meditated every morning before i dove into anything that is such an ideal time for meditation because you just haven't seen an email, a text message, a post on Instagram, like any news that's circulating in the world, like you, nothing has penetrated your brain to set the tone for your day yet. So having meditation and like setting your mentality upright for the day is just, it's so beneficial for me, but I haven't freaking been doing it. And during a time of all of this infertility stuff and waiting around and being anxious and all this stuff, you would think that I would prioritize that but I just haven't and this is me saying it out loud so that I take more accountability for doing this for myself in the morning. Anyway, that's my rant for now. There will most likely be more throughout the day, but the next thing that I want to do, it's 12 o'clock. Gotta take care of this. The hair doesn't look, it kind of looks bad. It's got still some dry shampoo in it. So I think it's time for some hair washing to be done. Let's get that situated. What's my cutie cooking up in here? Got the good stuff. The good stuff. Mediterranean chicken. Freaking love this. Thanks for making it for me, darling. Yeah. You guys have probably seen me talk about this lunch before, but I've taken a little hiatus from it because I started getting sick of it and now I'm obsessed with it again. All it is is rice, which Jack makes the best sticky rice. I don't know how he does it. It's delicious. Chicken with several different seasonings on it. And then it all goes into a bowl with just fresh cucumber and tomato with just salt and pepper on it and topped with lemon juice and tzatziki sauce. So stinking delicious. And Hippo has gotten into the habit, or I should say Jack has gotten Hippo into the habit of, for all my of also getting some chicken during lunchtime for some extra protein. Video yeah, again. I posted it on Instagram story. <laughs> Look at this little cat. He's prepping the chicken. And she is right there. The drama. <laughs> Before we can even like smell the chicken, she is there. Absolutely. She knows that this time during the day when Jack is in the chicken equals chicken for her. She gets scared of the kitchen sometimes, so. Here is the finished bowl, just a bowl full of deliciousness. And then after rushing around and doing all of the things this morning, I love, if I can, to give myself, I'm gonna definitely dip this sleep. I definitely like to give myself lunch to relax for just like, probably 15 minutes tops, honestly, but it's something that breaks up my morning tasks and to-dos before the afternoon tasks and to-dos because I find that as much as I wanna grind out everything to finish it and check it off my list, if I don't give myself just like 15 minutes in between, I feel so blah at the end of the day. I feel so drained and I would rather have maybe one less thing checked off of my to-do list but feel good about all the other things that I did at the end of the day versus having more things checked off my list and not feeling that great at the end of the day, if that makes sense. It's hard because I do want to do all of the things all the time. It's just my personality, but what are you gonna do, you know? Where's my phone? Gotta make sure I'm by it all minutes of every day. Cause the one time I am not by it is the one time a nurse or healthcare provider is going to message or call me back. So during Vlogmas, I like to watch 
Vlogmas vlogs and my absolute favorite ones are the OGs, Remy Ashton and Alicia Marie. If you guys have been enjoying someone else's Vlogmas, let me know below. But I love also like having a few to catch up on. That's always fun. Let's see, this one is Alicia's Amazon haul. Love a good Amazon haul. I'm gonna enjoy this. Her coffee maker is interesting. What even is that? I love her mug too. I need to get like one of those tripods that I see some other people have that like can extend up, but it's not like a full blown tripod. It's like a mini one, but like you, anyway, I need one of those because you guys are always like lower than me. I am about to get ready what originally was supposed to be for filming some TikTok or short form videos, plus then it'll lead me into the stream. I just had to do a few social posts for the job that I was talking about earlier, and it's already two o'clock. We'll probably have about 30 minutes extra, but some of the TikToks have to do with a Christmas decor transition of our living room and stuff. And at first I was like, oh, I really want good lighting for that, so I should take it in the morning when the lighting in our living room is so good, but I kind of want like Christmas tree warm, cozy vibes with like a good scene on the TV. The Christmas tree is all lit up. So I actually think the nighttime will be more beneficial and we have the rest of the evening to do that. So that's great. And the majority of TikTok ideas or reminders I had to do were actually TikToks that I would edit outside of the app. I don't know if this is interesting to anybody, but I do love making short form content and you guys see that in the form of TikTok when I post them on there, but I also post them on Instagram Reels and I started doing TikTok, I have to get organized. I am like so bad at talking and doing this at the same time. But I started posting them on YouTube Shorts too because a lot of people who follow me on Instagram and or TikTok don't follow me on YouTube too. So the content is kind of fun for them as well. But anyway, I digress. If it's like a trend or or something where I'm relating a sound to something in my life. Those are filmed like real time with the sound that I'm either like lip syncing or something like that. But when there's a sound that I want to use and the trend is more so showing clips of stuff that has been like in the past or already taken, it's way easier for me to edit that stuff outside of the TikTok app, just because I'm so much more used to editing everything for YouTube. YouTube was like my first ever platform that I edited anything for. So that stuff I can do anytime. Whenever I wanna do like short form content, and when I say that it's like TikToks and like stuff like that, I have to think of the lighting situation and like when to fit that in, especially during the winter. I had something that I actually wanted to talk about when I sat down here, but when the camera turns turns on and the thoughts start flowing, I definitely get carried away sometimes. I recently posted my saline ultrasound vlog experience and I wanted to chat about that because a lot of the comments were other people's like experiences with the ultrasound and or experiences with like what your clinic required when you started going to them versus other people's clinics. And between my comments and my messages that I received, there were a lot of women that were in the same boat as me in that when they entered their fertility clinic, they required an HSG and not a saline ultrasound on top of the HSG. Or interestingly enough, there were also some women that said they required a saline ultrasound, but they didn't require an HSG. And then there were some women where their clinic required all of the above. Now I could take that and I could sit here and question my clinic's validity or their abilities or their skill set in order to make my husband and my, or my husband and I's never know how to say that, dreams come true. But as I've expressed in the past, I absolutely love my clinic. And are there things that I'm like, oh, I wish this happened before? Yes, absolutely. But what I love most about them is I can have conversations with them openly and they're always receptive to my questions or my requests of things going forward. And I absolutely love that line of communication, that we've been able to develop that over the time that we've gotten to know each other. I think the relationship goes both ways and I've really come to value 
the partnership feeling that I have with my clinic. So that could be my takeaway. I could be questioning everything that led me up to this point and all of my clinic skills and all of that stuff. However, instead, what I took away most from the comments and the messages of different like people's experiences and what their clinic has required or suggested, etc., is that there is no consistency <laughs> when it comes to the standard things that somebody should be doing when they get into a fertility clinic or when they've been trying to conceive for 12 months. Not even down to the blood work that the regular OB initially pulls for somebody who is looking to look into their fertility. Just that, just the blood work even from woman to woman, clinic to clinic, OB to OB is inconsistent. Although I am a absolute firm believer that everybody's infertility journey looks so different depending on your diagnosis and what your clinic recommends after they've done all these initial tests and everything like that. I am so on board with that because if there was a one-size-fits-all situation we'd all be pregnant out here okay like there is going to be so much variation in everybody's individual journeys when it comes to infertility and treatments and plans however what doesn't necessarily make sense to me across just all clinics and all doctors and everything is why there isn't a consistent list of tests to go through and different blood draws and things to go through when somebody initially just gets in there when you really don't know what to rule out at all. Even if they end up doing like a transvaginal ultrasound and finding that somebody has ovaries consistent with PCOS, for example. Even if they find that, it doesn't mean that a tube is also not blocked or it doesn't mean that they don't also have polyps within their uterus. So I guess that's really what I took away. There's a lot of overlap with the different tests. Like a lot of women have also had an HSG and a lot of women also have saline ultrasounds when they get in. And a lot of women check for AMH, FSH, all of that stuff, but there doesn't seem to be a consistent list of things that everybody does when they get into a fertility clinic setting. I don't know. I don't really have a conclusion to that. I just wanted to express that because that is the number one most interesting thing that came out of sharing my saline ultrasound experience. But what I will say is that now that we know more so that we are not being able to do a transfer in December, like you guys saw, I believe in the last video or a few videos back, I did send a note to my doctor just since we have some time in the meantime before our next transfer to just dot our I's, cross our T's, and I have a few more questions regarding polyps and all of that stuff that I want to run by him. So I say that not to invite anyone to tell me what other things to do and all these tests and things like that and I appreciate you guys respecting that but more so just a reminder that you can ask your questions that is something that I learned very early on in this fertility journey and there are unfortunately all the time more questions that do pop up and I'm just a girl going through this like every other person going through infertility and I think there's a lot of beauty and a lot of power in vulnerability and sharing things that we're just learning along the way so I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes but just wanted to have some life chats <laughs> more so infertility life chats maybe this doesn't really apply to a lot of other people but just feel empowered to ask your questions you know something i learned a really long time ago in this journey and you guys have seen it throughout all of these months of posting about it is that we ourselves we as women going through this are our best advocates there is no one that will be able to advocate better for us than ourselves for ourselves. And if someone is not making you feel good about that, then they out. <laughs> All right, makeup is as good as it's gonna get. It's questionable on whether you guys will stay there because you guys are teeter-tottering on the couch there. But one, 
I don't know if this matches. I put it on and I was questioning it before and I'm still questioning it. But I have a few minutes and there's some fun sounds on TikTok that I think I want to film while my makeup is done because that's a rare occasion, only on Tuesdays and Thursdays mainly. But something that has been an absolute freaking lifesaver, talk about like tripods and stuff like that. This, I will leave this link down below in case you guys are a content creator or you don't even create content necessarily for socials. But you just want a convenient way to stick your phone to like basically any surface to take a photo or things like that. This thing can stick, yeah you guys can see that, and then I press it into here and it literally is a tripod now. I'm like in front of natural light, I can film what I need to film. It's fantastic. <laughs> We do a diet lemon or two diet lemonades. Two diet lemonades? Yes, please. Any sauce on the side? Yes. Can we do Polynesian zesty buffalo and Chick fil A sauce? Um, can we also do a large fruit cup? Y'all, Jack called me during my stream and it's Tuesday and you guys know that we usually do wines day which is where we just we get food out on Wednesday but he was like do you want to switch Wednesday to Tuesday and go to Chick-fil-a and I was like mm-hmm yes I do <laughs> so tomorrow we're doing cooking at home but, but the stream went really well we ended up playing the new Dreamlight Valley of a snowflake on you um, the update because it got stitch we got woody and Buzz Lightyear, and I didn't end up getting to any of those characters because Stitch apparently takes a few days in the game to get. And then um, we actually got distracted because I got a phone call my nurse phone call that I kept referencing all day in the middle of my stream and I was gone for like 10 minutes and so I came back and you guys will hear more about it in the upcoming vlogs but I was very relieved with the conversation that I got to have with my nurse and I was having a lot of anxiety last night and now I feel a lot better and so I'm like soaking it in so I got to tell them about it and then we ended up getting on like childbirth pregnancy all of those things and I love getting on those conversations because we do have a lot of parents in the community and so I get to ask them their questions and they always love to share their experiences and I freaking love birth so much like I just I'm so fascinated with it so it was really great and we got off topic but it was a good stream but now we were at Chick-fil-a stress Australia okay oh they have Chris Christmas stuff now, Bob. Christmas stuff. I don't think we've been here during their, their Christmas stuff. Where do they have Christmas stuff? Yeah, look at the look at the back. But we never went during Christmas because remember the line. It had early? opened that during that time and it was nuts. Napkins are up there. We've got zesty buffalo. Zesty buffalo. Oh, hell yeah. Is that what you got? Yep. Okay. I get Polynesian sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. And then do you want your french fries? Sure. And then there are two chicken nuggies under here, like two chicken tenders, is that right? Yeah, two boxes. Two boxes. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I love to dip my Chick-fil-A french fries in all the same sauces that I like to dip my um, chicken in. I used to not like Chick-fil-A sauce and then it grew on me and now I actually very much like it. It was like too like close to honey mustard but not quite to me, but so good. The work day isn't exactly over. I still have one or two tasks to do on my computer at home. 
but after work, work. I always just do on the couch with a pillow propped up with my computer, with YouTube in the background, a candle lit, you know, the whole vibe. So it doesn't really feel like work. Some days a brew. Some days. Adventurous. I don't know. When we're feeling spicy. But anyways, my friends, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed anything or resonated with anything during this vlog, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I upload on Wednesdays and Sundays and during Vlogmas, a few other uploads here and there. I love you all so, so, so much and we will catch you in the next one, my friends. We'll see you later. Bye!